while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn, a son, and she wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Where does the creator of the universe send his son? Where does the Prince of Peace make his entrance? A barn, a stable, a, a manger of all places. Certainly no place fit for a king. But then again, this was no ordinary king. The Savior is born in a stable. So there are animals and uh, animal stuff, manure, mud, a pitiful place for a human, much less the King of Kings. So why? Why would he do that? Because the shepherd was coming to care for his sheep, to make a way for his sheep. And, and that's what shepherds do. They live where the sheep are, they eat where they eat, and they sleep where they sleep. And this will be a sign to you. You will find the babe wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. You ever thought about that sign? Sign for what? Maybe it is a sign that Jesus is accessible to everyone. Maybe it's a sign that the God who owns the cattle on a thousand hills can relate to a homeless person, that God will have nothing to do with the social status of mankind. Either way, it's a sign for all of us to go and do likewise. You see, later, Paul would write these words, that you should have the same attitude as Jesus Christ, who, being in the nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but he humbled himself. He made himself nothing, becoming a servant, coming in human likeness. The creator, who had been served since before the dawn of time, stepped out of heaven to become a servant. Who does that? The God who's laid in a manger a messy feeding trough. Yeah, why such a messy place? Because he came to save messy people. So that first Christmas was dirty, grimy, filthy. <laughs> it was messy. But thank God it was, because without it, what a mess we'd be in.